All right then, so now we have the recipe data for each recipe page. Let's try outputting this inside the component template. So let me remove this. And then inside this div, we're going to have several different things. First of all, we're going to have a banner at the top, and that's going to include the featured image, so the long, thin image, and also the title overlaying it. So let's do a div, first of all, with a class of banner. And inside that, we need an image component. So let's create that. And we need to import that at the top. So let me do that as well. Import image from next forward slash oops let me spell this correctly next forward slash image all right so down here we can add in our source and by the way we need to grab some information from this recipe first of all so let's get rid of this and destructure a few things so i'm going to say const and we want to get the featured image first of all the title the cooking time we also need the ingredients and finally the method which is the rich text remember so that is how to cook this and we set that equal to the recipe dot fields all right so the source now down here is equal to the featured image then we have to go into fields and then dot file and then .url so this was the same as the thumbnail and I can show you that if we go into fields then featured image, then fields again, then the file, and then the URL. And remember, it doesn't have the HTTPS at the start, so we need to add that on. Let me do quotes, HTTPS, colon, quote, and then concatenate this at the end. All right, so we also want the width and the height, so we'll set the width equal to featured image, and then we want fields again, and then dot file, and then dot details, and then dot image and then dot url again let me show you this in fact sorry not url we want the width let me show you this if we come over here so featured image fields file details image and then width right here we need to do the same for the height so let me duplicate this and we'll change this and this to height like so awesome so if we save this now we should see the image over here yep we do cool so now below that, let's output the title, H2, and then we want to output the title, simple, which is this thing. So that's inside the banner. The next thing I want to do is create a div for the information. Now the information is going to include the cooking time and the ingredients. So let's do a div with a class of info. All right, so we'll do a paragraph tag for the cooking time. We'll say takes about, and we need to output the cooking time like so and we'll say mins to cook all right and then below that i'm going to do an h3 which says ingredients now remember the ingredients is an array if we take a look at the data again let me close this featured image the ingredients is an array of strings so we need to cycle through the ingredients and output some simple template for each one so to do that i'm going to use the map method I'm going to say ingredients dot map and then we take each ingredient which I'm going to call ing into the function and we need to return some kind of template for each ingredient now it's going to be very simple just a span tag for each one where we're going to output the ingredients like so and we also need a key on this root element this is just the way react works now the key in our case is just going to be the ingredient I'm assuming someone's not going to add the same ingredient twice Right now, you could add something else instead for the key if you prefer, but this is fine for us. All right, so we have the ingredients output and the cooking time. Let's take a look at this in the browser. All right, so this is the cooking time, and this just looks like one gigantic ingredient, but is cheese, bread, and marmite. We'll add the styling to this later on, so they're given a bit of space and maybe a comma after each one, but we'll do that later. All right, so after the ingredients, what do we want to do? Well, we need the actual method. So that's this thing right here. And remember, that's the rich text content. So if we take a look at the method over here and open it up, we can see it's not just a string. It has a content property, which is an array. And each one of these is a different kind of content. You can see we've got a paragraph. 
then a heading four, then some paragraphs again. And in each one of these, we have the actual content. And you can see each one of these is a bit of text. All right, so we can't just output the method directly. And I'll show you that underneath this. I'm going to do another div with a class of method so we can style it later. And then inside that, we'll do an H3 that says method like so. And then underneath that, I'm just going to try inside a div outputting the method and see what happens. Save it. And yeah, we get an error. It says objects are not valid as a React child. So because this is an object, it's not a string or anything we can output directly. It's not working. So how do we actually go through this rich text data and output it in the same way that we created it in that rich text editor? Well, we can use a package called rich text rendering, which is by Contentful. So if you want to read more about it, you can find it on the NPM website. It's called rich text react renderer. And you can see down here, this is how we install it. NPM install at contentful forward slash rich hyphen text hyphen react hyphen renderer. So I'm just going to copy that. And then back in my project, I'm going to open up a terminal and I'm going to paste it in and then press enter to install it. And then when that's done, I'm going to come to the top and I'm going to import a function from that package. Now I'm just going to paste this in. So we're extracting document to react components from contentful forward slash rich text react renderer. Okay, so we need this function right here. So I'm going to copy that dude now. And what we need to do is pass in our method object, this thing right here into that function. So let's get rid of this and instead use the function invoke it and pass in the method. And what this function does is look through our object, our rich text object right here, and it renders it in the correct way using the correct tags for us. So if I save this now, hopefully that error will go away. Yep, it does. And you can see the method down here with all of the different formatting. So we have bold text, headings, underline text, etc. So now this all works. Now there's one more thing left to do, and that's just to add a few styles so let me go back over here. And again, we're going to use styled JSX. So let me do a style tag right here, JSX. And then inside that, we need curly braces, template string. And then I'm just going to paste in the styles, but they're very simple. We style the H2 and H3, so they're uppercase. The banner H2, which is the title right here. We say down here, take away the margin, give it a background color of white, display inline block, give it a bit of padding, position relative so we can nudge it up over the image and then to the left as well and we rotate it a bit as well we also give it a box shadow then the info paragraph which is this thing right here with the cooking time we say down here give this a margin of zero so we just strip that away and now remember when we output the ingredients down here we used a span inside the info so we style those spans and we say after each span I want you to add some content and that content is just a comma and a space. So now after each one, after each ingredient, we'll have a comma and a space. And then after the final one, we say the content is just a full stop. So the last one in the list of the ingredients doesn't have this, it has this instead. So dead simple styles, but if I save this now, hopefully this is gonna look a bit better. So there's the title looking good and there's the ingredients and the method as well, awesome.